it was knowing that there was people that kind of like relied on you, but you know that you rely on the Lord. So it's just like, Lord, you move me, you you guide me how you want, and and I'm gonna do the best at my ability. But I know that I serve. I'm an ordinary person, but I serve an extraordinary God. I knew the Lord was calling me to do a Jesus discipleship group uh, because uh, I was just at a at a place where I was longing to to move and and to be used. And this uh, this proposition arose to me, and I just felt peace about it. I felt discomfort. Don't get me wrong, because I was like, I don't want to move. I don't want to do this. I'm shy. I'm nervous. I can't do it. All these lies were filling up with my head. My flesh was acting up, and. I just, yeah, in that, I felt so much peace, like, no, I know I should be doing this. I know it's what we're called to, and I know that, that the Lord is going to use me. I know the, the people that, that I, um, I disciple, and they're, they're friends of mine growing up. So I kind of figure, like, when, I, when the Lord put their names on my heart, I was just like, Lord, these guys, like, are you sure? Like, I don't know. Like, okay, Lord, but I'm going to be obedient to your word. So I ended up asking them, because I was just trying to find other people at the, at the Rock to ask. But I asked these guys that don't know the Rock, don't really know the Lord, and uh, grew up with them, so they kind of knew me. And some fear of that, like, oh, they know me. You know, they're probably gonna say no. But when I asked them, they were just so for it. They're like, yes, we've been wanting this. We've been, we've been uh, longing for this. And right there, I just felt the Lord like, Ray, you know that my word pierces hearts. You know, why do you question? I'm just like, Lord, forgive me, I know. And it was just such an amazing moment of revelation that man, like, his word could pierce any heart. Like, it doesn't matter. You can't disqualify other people. You can't disqualify yourself, you know? One of them, the, the week after, he bought his Bible. Someone that doesn't know the Lord, someone that doesn't even go to church, nothing, bought, you know, went on Amazon the week after, bought his Bible. I was like, dude, wow, that's, that's so amazing. Let's go. And then that same week, he's like texting me and saying like, bro, like, Something weird happened to me yesterday. Like I started praying over my family as as I was falling asleep, and I've never I've never prayed for my family. I've never done this before, and and ending his night like in prayer, and and seeing that happen. And then my other friend too, uh, teaching uh, he's teaching his son how to pray and how to speak life over over himself, and seeing all these fruits come out. Like these are these are two people that don't know the Lord, don't know the Rock, and so seeing this just. Man, it blesses my heart to see how the Lord has impacted their lives. I, I just never would have thought someone like me could do so. Someone that was shy, someone that, that doesn't really speak like this to his friends. Not only that, but like to friends that know you, that known the old you in a sense, how much more difficult is that? But man, the Lord was just so for me that he literally broke through their hearts. I know like Ray has changed. He has become a, a new man, a new creation. I want to be like this. and. Yeah, never, I, my problem was underestimating what the Lord could do and when I know the Lord could do all things.